Number 7. Richard Wilbanks, November 23, 2020. 74 year old Texan Richard Wilbanks and his King Charles Spaniard Gunner were out for a peaceful Sunday morning stroll around the local pond in Estero, Florida, when tragedy struck. Unbeknownst to them, there was danger lurking just below the surface. Before man or dog had realized, the four foot long beastie had emerged from the still waters and had Gunner in a vice like grip. The alligator retreated back beneath the water with its prize. Without a second thought, Wilbanks was in and fishing around trying to save his beloved pet. Grabbing the reptile and pulling him back onto the shore, he had stopped his puppy from drowning. But now he had to free him from the alligator's clutches. Straining, he fights to pry open the jaws of the gator. Eventually, he succeeds and the little three-month-old gunner hops free from his near-fatal end. Fortunately for us, the whole thing was captured on film by the Florida Wildlife Federation. Wilbanks and his wife, Luis, somewhat ironically moved to the area to be closer to nature. They even decided not to report the incident as they didn't want anything to happen to their frisky neighbor. Remarkably, and perhaps in part due to the attacker's relatively small size, Gunner only sustained one small puncture wound and has since healed without incident. Number 6. Lake Placid Crikey no, not the 90s horror set in Maine, but the real life version in Queensland. Well, sort of. Whilst this giant predator may not have actually been 30 feet long, it still tried its best to devour a man. In January of 2021, the unnamed 44 year old Australian man was swimming in Lake Placid, just as he had done three times a week for the last eight years. This time though, he had a six foot long swimming buddy who was more interested in lunch. The swimmer was reportedly some distance from the shore when the crocodile attacked. The croc wasted no time and clamped down straight onto the man's skull. Whilst the anonymity of the man means the details of his escape are scarce, emergency responders said that he told them that a crocodile had bitten his head and in his effort to remove the jaws of the crocodile, he put his hands in to try and prize the jaws apart. A saltwater croc boasts an impressive 66 teeth, but miraculously, he only suffered minor lacerations. Upon arrival, EMTs found the man laying on the bank of the water in a remarkably calm state. He was taken to Karen's hospital in a stable condition and has since made a full recovery. The 44-year-old was quoted as saying he would not be surprised if he ventured into those waters again for further exercise. So much for once bitten, twice shy. Number 5. Arthur Becker, July 23, 2016. Costa Rica, one of the most picturesque surf spots in the world, turned bloody in July of 2016. Colorado native John Arthur Becker had traveled from his home in Boulder, Colorado to his favorite surf spot, the Tamarindo River. At dawn on July 23rd, Arthur headed out with his local surf instructor and friend, Edgar Sanchez. After a successful early morning surfing session, it was time to paddle back across the river, just as they had done thousands of times before. It was mere moments after the pair had entered the river when the attack began. Arthur was snatched by his right leg and dragged underneath the murky waters. Turning around after hearing water splashing and yelling, Sanchez reported being able to see nothing but Arthur's floating board. Reacting instinctively, Sanchez backpedaled over and managed to find and pull his friend above the water. Becker, meanwhile, was swinging wildly and managed to put up enough of a fight that the crocodile retreated. By this point, Arthur was still alive, but his right leg was torn to shreds. He somehow managed to swim back to his board as the remains of his mangled foot continued to bleed profusely. From his injuries, it was later determined that the prehistoric killing machine had attempted to perform its infamous death roll. Aborting its attack because of the fight Becker put up, both men believed the croc had turned and ran. They were only half right. Unrelenting in its pursuit, the crocodile launched a second attack from below, this time biting Becker square on the face. As seen in the videos captured from shore, he manages to punch the beast off yet again. Finally, the croc relents and retreats. 
bloody-faced, Becker manages to paddle to safety. After being rushed to a nearby hospital, the surgeons were unable to save his foot. However, after hundreds of stitches from head to toe, Arthur Becker is living proof that you can be down but never out. Number 4. Rudy Francis, February 20th, 2017. The 35-year-old Malaysian ecologist escaped mostly intact from his fight with one of nature's most hardened predators. Rudy, a former zoo worker, was carrying out his daily task of feeding the animals when, without warning, a 20-foot crocodile snatched his hand and dragged him into the knee-deep pond. As it initiated a death roll, Rudy smartly positioned himself under the belly of the beast, keeping him safe from its jaw and heavy tail. Hearing his screams, workers at the Sandakan crocodile farm rushed to assistance. Francis went straight for one of the croc's eyes, freeing his arm that was now missing a hand. Farmers gathered and began using anything they could to chase the reptile away. Seizing the opportunity, the ecologist ran for the shore, but he slipped on the mud. This time, the jaws were firmly locked around his right leg. A frantic tug of war ensued between the farmhands and the hungry crocodilia. Thinking quickly whilst fearing for his life, he yelled for them to let the croc take his leg. It did. His saviors pulled him away. Francis's fight was not over though. Whilst being rushed to the hospital, he suffered a cardiac arrest, which he also survived. Despite it costing him an arm and a leg, he remained in high spirits during his recovery. Number three. Aussie woman fights off crocodile with a shoe. Although there may not have been much of a fight, I think we can still declare a winner here. In the viral video, captured by crocodilian enthusiast Lunden and Lazark, an unknown woman is standing with her puppy on the shore over the aptly named East Alligator River. One of the three crocodiles visible in the shot is seen approaching the shore without any attempt at subtlety. The 13-foot-long armored monster probably didn't see the need, as this would be the easiest meal of its life. Not intimidated, the remarkably calm or somewhat foolish woman barely moves from her spot. Instead, she simply removes one of her flip-flops and slaps it across the palm of her hand. For whatever reason, the giant aggressor flees. She can even be seen turning and laughing. Perhaps she knows something we don't, but... I think it's safe to say, if you are confronted by either a croc or a gator, this should be your plan B. Plan A should be to leave your shoes exactly where they are and very slowly back away. Number 2. Tafajwa Kashere, December 23rd, 2013. Tafajwa and his 11-year-old son, Tapewa, were returning home from the garden near their home in Zimbabwe. Unfortunately, only one of them made it across the river safely. Son followed father and is so often with these attacks, only the crocodile saw it was coming. Tafajwa was alerted by his son's screams and the sound of water. He could see the croc had his boy by the leg and was stuck in its clutches. Leaping onto the animal's back, he tried to force its jaw open. Unable to do so, he snapped nearby reeds and repeatedly jammed them into the crocodile's exposed eyes, all while still riding the back of the beast. Paternal instincts paid dividends, and the hungry carnivore released Tapewa's leg. But after repeatedly having its eyes gouged, the croc saw red and turned on the senior of the two. Trapping Mr. Cachete's hand between its teeth, the pair wrestled to the shore where after a few more pokes to the eyeball, his hand was freed. After the ordeal, the pair received emergency medical attention locally before being transferred to Chitungwitsa Central Hospital. Both survived, but I still think I've had more painful family dinners than this. Number one, Tara Hawks, 1st of April, 2012. Tara Hawks was a 23-year-old Australian native and crew member for 2,000 per night cruise operator, True North. One anchorage was at Dugong Bay in Western Australia where customers were given the okay to swim after the local freshwater pools were checked for activity. Hostess Tara, taking advantage of the seemingly peaceful moment, went out paddling the shallows. However, a six and a half foot long crocodile decided to take advantage as well. Undetected, it made its way through the waters and ambushed her 
dragging her by the leg beneath the surface. Fighting against her attacker, she screamed for help. It was April 1st. Both crew and guests of the cruise believed it was a joke. But as she managed to get her head above the thrashing waters, her cries became more expletive, and onlookers knew it was real. Friend and colleague Big Al Sartori leaped from the shore and into the 12-foot square death pool. Recounting the terrifying moment, Satori said, I jumped onto its back and stuck my thumbs in its eyes. Videographer Mike Fletcher soon followed, keeping Tara's head above the water as Al tried to free her engorged leg. Powerless to do anything, Hawk punched the crocodile in the nose as Sartori dug his fingers deeper into its eyes. Eventually, the beast relented and they were able to pry her leg free. In a final act of defiance, Big Al cemented his nickname by reportedly tossing the scaly hunter back into the pool. Both men escaped unharmed. Fortunately, this really was a luxury cruise vessel which had a private helicopter that immediately flew Tara to Derby Hospital, where surgeons spent several hours stitching her back together. And after seven months of physio, Tara did manage to walk away from the fight. Remember kids, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a helicopter for emergency life-saving surgery. Thanks for watching. Would you rather fight off a crocodile or try to outrun an erupting volcano? Let us know in the comments below.